Good morning, friends. I hope your day is off to a great start. So real quickly here today, I wanna share with you how drawing can give us all a really positive boost. Drawing has a very special constructive place in our lives. It can actually enhance our sense of self Drawing is very relaxing. It can calm our nerves. Drawing can also save us from feeling alone. I know a lot of people find great strength in a pencil. Uh, drawing is just a very natural, innate urge that is in all of us. Uh, drawing with a pencil is actually uh, one of the simplest, most accessible ways of creating uh, that has been around for centuries. And it's uh, something too that you will immediately uh, notice the benefits and experience uh, the good that comes from putting the pencil in your hand and starting to make those marks on paper because that's all drawing is. It's making marks on paper and everybody can do it. And I want to celebrate a few ways that make uh, it easy for us to uh, maybe make drawing a bigger part of our lives. And I have found that whenever we do want to have something uh, play a bigger part in our life to make it more visible and more accessible because that way we're in encouraging it and it makes it more doable. So here are some of the fun ways I uh, try to make drawing uh, more accessible and encourage it at my house. You'll notice behind me here, there's a couple of bookshelves that I keep uh, well stocked with uh, books that are all about different drawing techniques and sketching, uh, different uh, types of um, doodle books and lettering techniques, some vintage books on drawing that I've picked up at uh, book fairs, but it's a really nice nice visible resource for us that we can always go to for, for reference, uh, for inspiration, to learn some new techniques. I've got a couple of sketchbooks there always and some loose paper and then a nice container of pencils. So everything's there ready to go out where we all can see it and uh, take advantage of it. Another way for you to encourage some more drawing is, you know, sometimes when you go to a restaurant and your tablecloth is paper and they hand you a uh, handful of crayons, well, you can kind of create that same scenario at home. Uh, get some a roll of some nice paper and spread it out on your kitchen table, on your counter, on your coffee table, and leave it out. Have a nice uh, display of some of those pencils, maybe some funny racers and a couple of pencil sharpeners. It doesn't need to be anything more elaborate than that, but you will soon discover that art supplies are pretty hard to resist. Everybody will, um, they can't help themselves. They'll be grabbing some of the pencils, they'll be making marks on that paper, and then you can be really intentional with some of the time that you spend together around that table where you can treat it as a learning exercise. You could learn the history of pencils, which is really quite fascinating. You could learn about all of the different pencils that are out there, all of the different kinds of leads, and then you could grow your collection so that you could um, experiment and compare um, the differences in all of them. You could also learn you know, more about the different papers. There are, um, you can also create some fun challenges where you, um, um, as a family come together and uh, have some drawing exercises, put a little still life together. Everybody draws it from their own perspective. Um, some drawing games are a lot of fun and you will soon see just how everybody's own unique style and personality comes through with the marks that they're making on that paper. And I think that is so cool. Um, but the biggest thing that I want to stress is to don't steer down that path of good or bad, right or wrong because nothing uh, will kill a creative spirit more quickly than judgment and just don't allow it. Instead, celebrate all of the different marks and drawings that you do. Um, frame some up, have a nice little gallery, display them, change them out, really celebrate again the marks that you do make because everybody can draw and everybody can benefit from it. So let's, let's draw more everyone.